What is the difference between pinning and spotlighting a video in Zoom? Or what do those things even mean? Hi, I'm Dr. Ben Finio, and in this video, I'll be going over the answers to those questions. Now, before we talk about pinning and spotlighting video, you'll need to understand Zoom's two main view modes, speaker view and gallery view. In gallery view, all of the participants are shown in thumbnails that are about the same size. You can switch to speaker view by clicking the view button in the upper right and selecting speaker view where Zoom will show one speaker larger than the rest with everybody else in smaller thumbnails across the top. Now, left to its own devices, Zoom will do its best to determine who is currently the active speaker or the person who's doing the talking. However, that only works well if only one person is talking at a time. If you have lots of people talking over each other, for example, a class with lots of small children, or people with lots of background noise because they don't have their microphones muted, then this window might bounce around and show different people, which can be annoying if you're trying to focus on a teacher during a class. So if you're a student and you want to make sure you can see your teacher, or if you're a teacher and you have a student giving a presentation and you want to make sure you can see them and not the other students, you can do that by right-clicking their thumbnail and selecting pin video. That will make the person you pinned large in speaker view and keep them there even if somebody else is talking. However, this only pins the video for you. Other participants can pin somebody else or switch back to gallery view on their own. For example, here's a screenshot of Magic's computer currently. You can see he's still in gallery view even though I've pinned Maple in speaker view on my computer. So if you're a teacher, you can make life a lot easier for your students by using the spotlight video feature because that will spotlight the video for everyone. So you can spotlight yourself, or if you have a student giving a presentation, you can spotlight them, again by right-clicking on the thumbnail and selecting Spotlight Video. If you currently have a video pinned, it might give you a pop-up warning that spotlighting will cancel the pin, so you can go ahead and hit Continue to do that. You will see that I am now spotlighted on my own screen, and if I take another screenshot of Magic's screen, this has automatically moved him into Speaker View and spotlighted me. So while your students can still switch back and forth between gallery view and speaker view, while you have someone spotlighted, their ability to pin a different video will be removed. So that is the main difference between pin and spotlight. Remember that pin only pins the video for you, while other participants can still pin somebody else if they want to. Spotlight spotlights the video for all participants in the meeting. So if you are a teacher, you probably want to spotlight yourself so your students do not all have to pin you individually. If for some reason you have different discussions going on and people may want to pin somebody different, you can leave that decision up to the individual user. But in many cases, you're going to want to make use of that spotlight feature. So as always, I hope you found that video helpful, especially if you are teaching or learning online due to the COVID-19 pandemic. If you have a suggestion, a comment, or a request for another tutorial, please leave a comment below this video. A lot of my newer videos have been based on questions I've been getting in the comments, especially this one with students not knowing how they can pin their teacher. So again, please leave a comment below the video. Thank you.